Hello and welcome to New Parents in Training. So today I'm going to unbox this Spectra. Well, okay, look, I know I'm not supposed to. It's supposed to be my wife who's unboxing this, but uh, she's going through labor right now with our second kid. So I'm just going <laughs> to go ahead and do the unboxing part and then she's going to try it out uh, once the baby is home. Couple of things I want to point out. Uh, we already have a, uh, an LV uh, with our first kid. If you have health insurance in the US, the health insurance should be able to cover you for the first breast pump up to $500. Now we got this one for free. Well, uh, technically it's under $500. So we got reimbursed from the insurance for the LV. Now for this time around with our second kit, uh, we also got this one uh, reimbursed up to $500 for the Spectra. So just make sure you check with your insurance. Uh, each one is a little bit different and they change the rules uh, every now and then. Because with the LV, the first kit, we're able to not only get the LV for free, but also get the Modella rental uh, at the same time as well. Uh, but this time around, we're able to only get the refund for the Spectra, but we're not going to get, we're not able to get any rental for Modelo. So if you live in the US, if you have the health insurance uh, coverage, then uh, it's definitely a good idea to check with your insurance to make sure that you'll be able to get one of the breast pump uh, either free or uh, subsidized because they are not cheap uh, and by all means you if you did plan on breastfeeding uh, it's wise to get one of those it helps a lot especially if you're working so this is a Spectra SG Synergy Go so, all right here we go open it up you will see please remove tape from the pump before use manual instruction all right, all the accessories, the charger. Oh, and another set of the accessories. So two sets. Okay, it's pretty heavy. I guess this is the tape that they referring to. You need to remove it before you use it. All right, so remove tape, remove tape. Here we go. Oh, and there's a layer of film on top of here. Oh, there we go. Well, <laughs> usually at this point, I was like, let me go try it on and stuff. But no, <laughs> I'm just going to read the manual instruction and then see how it works. And once my wife comes home with the new baby, then we're going to start using this. So anyway, see you in a little bit. Hi, so I'll be taking over on instructing the step-by-step -step on how to set up this pump so before i get started it's important that the pump parts gets washed what i'm talking about pump parts is everything that you see on the right here bottle parts uh the flanges and the duck bill and then the backflow protector those needs to be washed and sanitized because they get in contact with milk as far for things that not to wash you don't need to wash the pump at all or the tubing or obviously not the adapter. The tubing definitely don't wash it or sanitize it because it never comes in contact with breast milk since the pump are closed system pumps. It is important to know to use a designated basin to clean all the pump parts, something like this, and not wash them in the sink because of bacteria that can come from the sink. So first wash all parts in warm soapy water and rinse well and avoid tearing or damaging the seals. So never insert anything into the duckbill valves when cleaning them. So according to manual, they have very specific steps on how to sanitize. So for accessories such as the bridge shield, the upper and lower case of backflow protector, bottle, bottle ring, bottle cover, and disc. You use a, a pot large enough to fit all these parts and then fill with water so all the parts are added to the water is at least four inches above the parts. Then you remove the part from the pot, place lid on the top of the pot, and bring it to boil. Once the water reaches boiling point, you turn off the heat and then submerge accessories in boiling water and then the water should continue to boil. Then you remove the accessories after three to five minutes. As far for the silicone accessories, such as the duckbill valves, the backflow protector membrane, and bottle nipples, things are like 
the color of white uh, you just soak them in boiling water for no more than two minutes they do recommend not to boil any accessories for more than five minutes as extended exposure to heat may actually damage them and after boiling them you could dry it on a clean paper towel to drain and once the parts are dry assemble the pump before you store or use it so now that the parts are clean sanitized and dry I'm going to show how to assemble the backflow protector. So as you can see here, there is the upper case and you could tell the upper case is actually the one with the little lid over here. And this is the lower case and this is smaller. So you, you will end up looking like this together when they clip together. But before you do that, you need to add the membrane to the lower case and by adding the membrane, you make sure you seal all around the corner or the rim. And so this will ensure the proper um, suction. Then with the upper case, you put it over on top and, and then you've snapped the two pieces or now the three pieces together and make sure it's just form a perfect seal. So this is one and you have to do it for the other one. And that is the backflow protector. The next one is to how to set up the pump. As you can see up top, there are four flanges and they are two different sizes. So up top, there is a 28 millimeters and there's a 24 millimeters. So it gives the user the choice of using depending on the size of the nipple. And you can find your flange size by using a ruler, a measuring tape or flange measurement guide. And the measurement must be in millimeters. And this guy is available on spectrababyusa.com, which I'll link it down below. Make sure you, you measure each nipple because there could be different sizes for each nipple. Once you selected the right flange size, now is the setup. So you grab the flange and then you got the valve and then you insert the valve like this, securely place. Then you add on the backflow protector and it is the, the top part. So the thicker end goes in here you could try the other end, you know, it's very loose, so it's not that way, so it's this way. After that, you could then add the bottom, like so. And you can set up the other one. Then you add the tubing. So this is the end that goes into the pump. The ends that does not have the special tubing, they go into the backflow protector, like so. So you just have to wiggle all the way in. That's one, and then the other one. And that's it. Next is to connect the pump kits into the machine. This is the adapter, and to connect it, it's at the back of the machine pump. And then that goes into the outlet. As far for the pump kit, you see this tubing. They go into the holes as you see here. So you just have to wiggle all the way in. So to get started, I recommend to use a pumping bra. This will help to free up your hands to do something else. So what you do is just insert the flange into the pumping bra and you do for the other one as well. Just make sure that before, once you put on your bra, you want to center the flange to the nipple. So the nipple needs to be centered onto the tunnel because you don't want the nipple to be rubbing against the tunnel. So to power on the machine, you press a power button at the bottom. You can see there's double zeros. And here you see a wave, and that is one of the modes. So there are two modes in this machine. There is the massage mode, which is the wave. And that wave uh, massage mode is to help with the letdown. And once the letdown is happening, you switch it to the expression mode, okay? So to start off with the massage mode, you press left to start with the left breast and then right here 
to start on the right. What means vacuum for each side is the strength of the massage, right? So the sucking portion of it. So you can increase the strength and this one goes up to five. For, and you could do independently for, for each of the breasts. Now cycle, as you see here, this button up, up here, this is how fast the pumping session or the massage session. So here you, you could see that there's a, the lowest level. You could increase it up to five. So you hear it's faster. But I never go this high for vacuum strength or or the speed. So I usually just do maybe up to three and my vacuum is probably a two in one nipple and then the other one is probably a three. One thing that cannot be done um, independently is the cycle. So the cycle, it applies to both left and right. So that cannot be adjusted independently, only the strength. So say for example, now you have a letdown and so there's some milk coming out. So now you can switch to the expression mode by pressing the waves. So now once you you put it into the expression mode, like you see here, the drops, the original setting has the vacuum as one for each one of them, but kept the cycle at three, at level three. So you can increase how strong you want it to suck. And so for the expression mode, the vacuum levels can go up to 10. And you could do on the right as well. So you could adjust it independently. Obviously, I don't use it all the way to the max level. So you want it to adjust it to where you feel the most comfortable. You just have to play with it. Um, and then the settings can change uh, during the day and night. The same thing for the cycle or the speed. So you can increase it up to five if you need, if you want to, but I usually do up to three, a uh, level three. The cycle applies to both breasts. It does not just independently. So let's just pretend I've been pumping now for 20 minutes. And so I'm ready to stop one breast. So if you want to just do one breast, you could just say, for example, my right one is ready to go. You just press R for right and we'll stop pumping for the right breast. And then once you're done pumping session for all, everything, you could just press power down button. So now you're done with your pumping session, you remove the kit from the bra and you could detach the tubing. Uh, you could detach the bottle. You detach everything. So the flange, the valve, you detach the back foot protectors. All these that can be set to wash. The bottle, you could set it aside for freezing, but if not, then you could put it into the fridge if you're gonna use it later. So th this comes with a cap. So you could just use the cap. And you could close the bottle and then store it into the fridge. If you want to use it readily for the baby to drink right away, you could use the same cap, attach the nipple. There is a protector, their bottle protector, and you could take this uh, for the baby to drink. It is recommended that after each use for the pumping session is to wash the parts that has been in contact with the milk. The only things that doesn't get into contact with washing are the tubings. So these tubings, they do not need to be washed because they never get in contact with the milk. So just put it into a designated basin. And then you wash each piece in warm soapy water and rinse with hot water. My favorite soap to wash pump parts and even bottles is the baby Gannix. i highly recommend this product it washes really well it takes away all those milk residues that are in the pumps this is also plant-based and fragrance free after the parts are washed then you can sanitize them in my case i like to sanitize them in 
a sanitizer machine like the Papablic, it allows to sanitize, but also to dry them. And then after it gets dried, then it can be assembled before the use. So I'm gonna go over the pros and cons of this pump. Overall, I think this is a great pump. It has a very good power. I feel the suction is great, equivalent to the hospital grade. I had used the Medela Symphony in the past and I felt that it still sucked a quite a bit of milk for each session. I love that it can control each side independently, especially since I have one slacker boot and that it remembers the previous set settings as well. The one thing that it might be a, a great downside is that it is more expensive, especially that there's really not a lot of added benefit, but because of the insurance, if the insurance covers it, then that'll be great. I will not recommend this pump, especially if you go to work, because it's not very portable. So this, this is a great pump to stay at home or if you're working from home, as this needs to be plugged into the wall. And there is no space to hold the bottles, so you gotta be careful not to tilt them, otherwise they could just spill. One tip I have is that after pumping, you could place them in a mug like this, even if they get tilted, it won't really spill. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you continue to watch all of our videos. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.